Hi everyone, this is Josh again with Our Tiny Homestead and Maiko and this is Willow. They decided they want to be in today's video. Go ahead, get down. Um, today, I wanted to start the video by thanking all of you uh, for sticking with us and your patience between our first video and this video. Um, it's been a long and challenging road over the last year and I wanted to thank you for continuing to follow us and continuing to uh, just show your support. My original vision when it came to the Our Tiny Homestead YouTube channel and Facebook page and social media was to just share our journey and to uh, share in the fun and the excitement of self-sustainability, self-reliance, homesteading, um, and learn from, from everybody else as well. Over the last year, we have faced challenges that simply should not be in place. Um, we knew that we were going to face the challenges that are innate in moving off-grid, moving to a homestead, the, the adjustments that need to be made, um, like not having a shopping center five minutes away, uh, growing your own food, trying to gather your own rainwater, conserving energy, using solar power. We knew that this was going to be an adjustment and there were going to be challenges. We came into this prepared, as prepared as anyone can be, and willing to roll with the punches. What we were not prepared for was to learn that not only do we have our own challenges that are set before us, but we have challenges that are set before us by our local, state, and county governments that simply should not be in place. They're just wrong. I know some of you might think that sounds naive, or you know, some of you might say, oh, you should have done more research uh, before moving out to the country. Uh, we did quite a bit of research, and nothing could have prepared us for the things that we found out. This next series of videos is going to be called Self-Reliance, What Our Government Doesn't Want. And this video is meant as an introduction to that series. I am not an anarchist. I served my country. I was in the army. And I, I do believe in what our forefathers created and what they had envisioned for our country. I think it's an amazing thing and I'm very proud of our country. But what I'm not proud of is, is what it's becoming and how simply because the money isn't there for the government to take when somebody is completely self-reliant, that they make it next to impossible to start a homestead and to be self-reliant and they are continuing to pass laws right under our noses that nobody really even knows about until you try to go through this process that again make it next to impossible to to live this kind of lifestyle we've been fighting this battle for the last year and uh, we are slowly but surely making headway and we're sticking with it for the sake of raising awareness i want to share this part of our journey as well it wouldn't be a true representation of, of everything that goes into this kind of lifestyle if we didn't share this. We are going to be having interviews of other homesteaders, other off-gridders. Um, we have quite a few people that are very interested in sharing their story and raising awareness because one thing that so many demographics can come together on, there are so many different people from different walks of life that can all come together under one flag for one cause and that is self-sustainability, self-reliance. Living the way that you want to live without anybody telling you how you should live. Growing your own food, collecting your own rainwater, gardening, collecting solar power. The single best thing that any one family, one home, one family unit, one person, anybody can do for our world, for our environment, is to live self-sustainably. That is the number one thing we can do to help our planet and to help our communities. Not only is it healthier, but it just simply makes sense. 
not only does it make sense for the environment, but it makes sense economically and developmentally for our communities. Um, development services with local counties will not agree with that, but with the population growth what it is, of course they wouldn't. They want our rural communities to be available for developments. We have cities that are, that used to be, you know, two hours, two and a half hours away from the metro areas, now merging with those metro areas. The county development services have their own agenda when it comes to rural areas and the zoning for those areas. And in the following videos, we're gonna go into more detail with that. This is not meant to be a scare tactic video. This is not meant to be a rant. This is meant to raise awareness. I know I've said it a few times, but that's my goal is to raise awareness and hopefully as like-minded individuals, we can come together and start changing these zoning laws and changing the direction that our beautiful rural areas are headed. There are so many social media groups out there. Our Tiny Homestead is one, it's new, small, growing. Uh, the Shed to House movement, uh, Tiny Homes, uh, Homestead Front Porch, you can go on and on. The, the community is huge if we do not come together as a like-minded community and start fighting back to preserve this way of life, if we want to keep this available to those that choose to live this way, we need to come together and start making changes because as it stands right now, we are, we are not going to have these rights. We are not going to continue to be able to build our own homes. We are not going to be able to collect our own rainwater. We are not going to be able to have backyard chickens. The evidence is everywhere and this is based off factual information and personal experience. All of the United States laws are being passed to prevent home gardening, to prevent backyard chicken coops, to prevent rainwater collection. These are facts and it's getting worse and worse every year. You can't even see it unless you look. So for the next few videos, we are going to focus on this problem and we are going to focus on ways that we can try to come together to change this. Again, the name of this series is Self-Reliance, What Our Government Doesn't Want. But I'm hoping that we can touch the hearts and minds of the people working in our local governments and show them that what they're doing is wrong and that we will not stand by idly and let it happen. Again, thank you for your support. Um, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed my amateur little intro uh, to this. We now have chickens. We are getting six eggs a day. We just had a litter of beautiful, cute little kittens, which you probably saw in the intro. And we're hoping to have goats, maybe some miniature donkeys here soon. Can't wait to make some goat cheese. And again, we will continue to share uh, more about our tiny homestead and we're still building. We had to put a big pause in things to to fight this fight. I hope you enjoy the following videos.